our channel I'm Maya and Sarah and a we are charmed and dangerous because you know we're charming and we're dangerous we be dangerous or whatever you know you know you know you know I feel I'm not gonna lie I feel extra dangerous when I'm talking about Beyonce oh are Beyonce, you Beyonce like, okay. I feel like she's she's coming through me right now oh like, and she's coming like through she's you. coming through me oh and my I'm gosh. feeling the diva energy oh. and I'm ready to talk about her birth chart yeah no I'm so ready I'm ready but before we get into it though Hit that subscribe button. We're two besties. We Beyonce would want you to do it. <laughs> right, Beyonce, please follow our channel. We love you. Even if she doesn't, she wants you to do it. Yeah, and Beyonce wants you to do it. Yes. So do it. And now let's talk about her chart. Okay, Sarah. Let's get into let's it. Get into if you're it. new here, we like to talk about celebs and we their do. birth charts. We and do. we know birth chart consists of many, 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 many different aspects, but mm -hmm. we are just strictly talking about the personal planets because yes. For the sake of time, we feel like that's okay. the best thing to do. Yes. So let's get started. Virgo Sun. Beyonce mm. is a Virgo Sun. I think this is just so her because as we know, Beyonce is a perfectionist. Yes. And I would think that she needs to be determined to be where she is oh, at the stage of her career. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like she does not want to quit ever. And I feel like she just has a way of staying relevant, obviously because yeah. of her talent. but. Uh -huh. Also, you need to be able to put in that time and dedication into your craft yes. to stay relevant. You don't just stay relevant just to be relevant, like just because you're pretty. Like you have to be good at what you do. And oh. clearly, she is at the top of her game. Yes. And I just see that Virgo energy in her. That yeah. Determined Virgo energy. Yes. I mean, dare I say, I feel like Beyonce is the hardest working performer and best probably performer of our generation. You know what I mean? And I feel like Agreed. that's because of her Virgo perfectionist ways. You yeah. know what I mean? Like she rehearses like crazy to make sure that she doesn't feel embarrassed. Like she's not embarrassed of a single person in her freaking like group. You know, like yeah. all the dancers are working hella late. Mm -hmm. Do it again from the top. You're fired because you're not like on your shit. I just feel like she is a perfectionist and you see that in her craft, in her shows, you know, yeah. like it's so clearly and meticulously planned out. And in a concert, I love that. Like, I love that as a performer. Like, the thing ooh, is, ooh. details, baby. And yes. Virgo has the details. Yes, Virgo country. thinks about every single detail. Something mm -hmm. that you forgot to think about, Virgo is thinking about. It, yeah. And the thing is, when you think about Virgo, you're like, oh my god, they're so judgmental. They're always overthinking. But when it comes to your craft, that Virgo energy is so powerful because they are the ones that are staying up at night making sure that their craft is perfect, that whatever they're putting out for the world to see is perfect because they're so detail-oriented, because they're so judgmental. Mm -hmm. You think Virgo is just judgmental when they're looking at you? However much they're judging you, they're judging themselves 10 times as hard. Yes. Yeah. Even more than 10 times. Yeah. Like, the fact that they even said this to you, it's like, they're thinking about themselves like so much harder. Yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And I just also love her though, and I feel like it's also her Virgo energy. You know, she's obviously won like tons of awards, like very well loved and respected, but she's always very humble. And oh, I feel yeah. like, again, that's also Virgo energy. Like you don't always know how fucking great you are. Not to say that Beyonce doesn't know how great she is, but like she kind of plays it like maybe she doesn't. Yeah. You know, and that kind of reminds me, again, of Virgo energy. Like they don't always know the amazing things that they provide for this world. Because to them, it's normal. Yeah. Like, to everyone oh, else, it. Virgo is going above and beyond, but to Virgo, that's them being normal. Um, honestly, this isn't about her, but in one of our videos where we talk about Virgo celebrities, I want to talk about Hermione Granger, which is yes. one of the Harry Potter characters. And to me, she is just the best wizard, like tries the hardest, studies the hardest. But whenever she's complimented, she's like, oh, well, I mean, duh, like, of course I need that. Right. Like, that's Virgo energy to me. That's mm -hmm. Beyonce's energy to me. Like, she almost just comes with that energy of, well, of course I'm the best. I right. fucking worked hard at it, didn't I? Yeah. You know? It's like, I put in all this work. And but she doesn't say that, no, but her don't. work shows it. And you never even always see the work that they put in because I feel like they kind of tuck off when yeah. they're like, putting in that work oh, in that sure. time. But then they come back and you're like, 
wow, you put on this show and you completely impressed me. Yeah. You know? 100%. Can I just say though, I feel like when I looked at her full chart, like she is an honorary Libra. Like oh, yeah. Yeah, she is she Virgo sun, but so she has so many, many Libra. She has so many Libra placements. Yes. She literally has her Venus, her Mercury, and her rising mm -hmm. in Libra. Mm -hmm. And I absolutely love, love, love all of those. I yes. have a lot to say about every single one of those placements. I feel like her Libra rising, okay, listen, <laughs> let's make it superficial, fat ass. At the end of the day, <laughs> yes, Libra rules the buttocks. If you didn't know, now you know. So at the end of the day, Beyonce got a pretty <laughs> nice juicy body. You know what I mean? Like, it looked good. It looked real good. <laughs> it looked good body. Yeah, you know, your it's rising boring. sign rules over your physical body as well. So the fact that she has a nice big old mark. Uh, yes, I feel like you sent that in the Sweetie video too. Yeah. She has Libra rising exactly. too, right? Exactly. They got, got a nice little mm -hmm. girl And even besides <laughs> that, I feel like Beyonce, the way she presents herself, it's very much, you know what I mean, beauty and grace and Miss United States. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. She has a way that makes you feel, again, very, very comfortable. Like, whenever you're watching any of her interviews, don't oh you gosh. just feel at peace? I feel like she's my friend. Exactly. That is Venus. Yeah. That is Venus's influence over her rising sign. And then also, of course, her Libra Mercury. I feel like she has such a sweet, soft voice. Oh, my God. Like, she doesn't... Libra Mercury's, they don't have to yell all the time. Like... If you want people to actually listen to you as a Libra Mercury, it's when you're doing your little soft voice thing and yes. you're just kind of turning it down and you're like, are you in this? Are you with me? Yeah. <laughs> and we're like, yes. And, and they are, you know? <laughs> so I see that in her because I really could listen to her for hours. Yeah. To me, her Libra energy just like screams through her chart. Beauty and charisma, you mm -hmm. know? And then also like she, it's backed up with that Virgo energy of like hard work, you know, and like the Scorpio moon of like hard work and like regeneration and stuff like that. And I just, I love that energy mixed together because it's like a duality to me. You know what I mean? Like Libra is like, oh, I'm so sweet and I'm so charming. But then also her Scorpio moon and her Leo Mars make her like a fucking badass, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and I love, sure. I love that she has these other placements because otherwise I feel like maybe she'd be like too sweet, too like maybe like appeasing, you know? Yeah. And, and I feel like her Scorpio moon and her Leo Mars give her that edge. Yeah. Like I'm gonna be sure. honest with you. For sure. Do you wanna talk about her Libra Venus? Venus is at home in Libra. If you guys didn't know, Venus is at home in the sign of Libra, which is her Venus sign. And I feel like she loves love. Like she does. you know that about Beyonce and we know this. You know, she has made timeless songs about love and heartbreak and betrayal. And this kind of ties probably her Scorpio moon into it too. But mm -hmm. for the most part, Libras really are those hopeless romantics that just want to experience and express love at all of its stages. Yeah. You know, and mm -hmm. I feel like you think of Libra and you think, okay, it's this person that only views like the happy aspects of love. So it's easy to say like when she is doing those those albums about the yeah. hard parts of love that it's only her Scorpio. I don't believe that. I mm -hmm. do think it's also her, her Libra because For sure. as Libras, when you are functioning at a higher state like when you are a high vibrational libra you will more than likely finally be willing to give your all to love even though you know how ugly it could get and i feel like that is already what scorpio understands but i feel like libra also understands that as well yeah. after they've gone through those really really shitty times in love of giving everything they can to someone they're like you know what i still want love after all of that bullshit yes and for scorpio it's kind of like the opposite <laughs> of like I'm gonna expect the worst. And then they're like, okay, maybe love can be good. You yeah. know what I mean? And I see both of those energies in Beyonce. And I feel like that's why we're always playing her songs when we're in our fields. Yeah. Because she knows how to express her relationship yes. with love. Exactly, exactly. I feel like she very much values relationships and that's Libra energy to me. You know what I mean? Like they love a partner. So like they're going to love any type of partnership really in their life. And I feel like you do hear that in her songs and you're right. It isn't just that Scorpio energy. It's the, the Libra energy and just the love of relationships and partnerships and her discussing that at any, at any level. You yeah. know what I mean? Whether it be heartbreak or deep passionate love, yeah. you know? And yeah. I feel like it is that Scorpio and Libra energy combined together. 100%. But also definitely like, I don't ever want to negate 
how passionately Libras feel about love too. Oh, for sure. You know sure. what I mean? Because like, I feel like, every, like yes, they're lovers, Scorpios are lovers too, but like they feel very passionately too. You yeah. Know, like they're not silly lovers all the time. I do want to talk about her Scorpio moon, which I know is a placement of hers that people love and I yes. as a Scorpio stellium love as well. I feel like anything that has to do with her level of privacy oh my gosh, it yeah. is because of her Scorpio moon. And I feel mm -hmm. like the thing is, you can tell with Beyonce, she is obviously one of the most famous women on earth, but she is still so reserved and she has this boundary almost you yes. know what i mean like people don't even try when it comes to her sometimes because they know what it is with her and that to me gives scorpio everything everything it's like listen you know not to come around here with that mess because i am not even going to entertain it like that is that scorpio energy and the thing is that tied with her virgo it gives mm -hmm. me that energy of like i'm private and don't fuck with me yes you know but another thing that really really makes me think about her scorpio moon is her cult-like following. <laughs> <laughs> Need I say more? Like, at the end of the day, like, <laughs> Let me not say it too Scorpio, <laughs> people tend to have this obsession when they're interested in us. It's never like, oh yeah, I fuck with Scorpio. It's either I hate Scorpio or I fucking love Scorpio. It's true. It's literally one or the it's other. Magnetism. So, exactly. So, I feel like her beehive it definitely is because of her scorpio moon yeah because people just feel like they want more of her and they want to protect her and they just will fight anyone on her behalf yes you're welcome scorpio moon. <laughs> yes <laughs> And That's they I love say. that. I feel like she definitely feels empowered by that too. You know what For I mean? Like sure. I don't know Beyonce personally obviously, but I feel like I'd imagine that she would feel empowered by that type of energy too. For sure. I feel you like know? she has, um, obviously she has a great sense of power because of her Scorpio placement, like power and control definitely tie into the sign of Scorpio. And I feel like the thing is you can tell that she's learned lesson after lesson in this industry mm -hmm. and she is using her power very carefully. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Which is another thing that Scorpio and Virgo know how to do really, really well. Yes, I'm the one in control, but we don't have to talk about it. I'm behind the scenes making shit happen. Right. They're not up there in the <laughs> front, you know? Like, it's not giving me, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not gonna say that. Well, it's funny, though, because she has Leo Mars, which yeah. normally I feel like could be a very loud, kind of, like, in-your-face placement, and I, I, I totally hear what you're saying, because, like, she, she could be like, ha, ha, ha. Like, I'm that top bitch all the time, you know, yeah. but she doesn't, yeah. you know? She could, like, hone into that energy more, but she doesn't. But the thing is, at the end <laughs> of the day, when you know you have it, you don't really you don't gotta have scream to. about it. And I feel like that goes back to her Scorpio moon. Exactly. You know? You don't she, gotta scream about it. She knows that power. She knows that. That she gets. Let's talk about the rack. Leo Mars. Because, <laughs> listen, that's one of my favorite Beyonce placements. If you watched our Leo moment video, that's one of the things I talked about. Yes. Is, you know, her need to be the best when she's performing, when her dad would make her run, you know, miles and sing at the same time. I correlated that with her Leo Mars. If you guys didn't know, Leo Mars are known for their dancing and basically commanding whatever stage they're on. Mm -hmm. They are with the theatrics and they know how to give you a show. Um, and the thing is, I feel like when she's on a stage, you just can't help but look at her. Yeah, yes, oh, yeah. it's Beyonce, but why is she Beyonce? Because when she's on stage, you can't help but I look at her. You know, you know what know? I mean? And she yeah. also just has this like fiery, sassy personality on stage, and you can definitely thank her Leo Mars for that. Oh, 100%. You know, we talked a little bit about like the Libra Scorpio moon mix, but I kind of want to talk about the Leo Scorpio mix oh, yeah. of this in that her chart because. To me, that is, again, like I said earlier, I think bad bitch energy. Yeah, like, to for the sure. max, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And like, I feel like- Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh shit, I didn't even realize I was talking about you, but like, yeah, basically. <laughs> you know, because I feel like, and I feel like I've seen these mixes, these mix of two energies in some of like my favorite songs by her and like some of her biggest hits. For example, um, you know, diva. Oh yeah. You know, a diva is a female version of, of a hustler. hustler. Of a, of a you hustler. know, and I feel like she doesn't always revel in that bad B energy, but 
You know what? The combo of these two. She knows people can't handle it. You know, what I'm? she's like, true. I'm gonna give you a little Just crumb a little here, a little crumb yeah. there, and, and <laughs> there. And you know, and who run the world? Like again, mm. mix mm. of the two. Don't oh, get I it twisted. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. You know, oh, I yeah. love these two mixing together in her chart. One hundred percent. I feel like Leo Mars just lives to be dramatic oh, yeah. and passionate in every I aspect love. of their mm. life. And listen, if they have an audience, oh, it's showtime, baby. Oh yeah, it's showtime. Yes. And when Beyonce is in the room, <laughs> it's, it's showtime. Show. <laughs> All right, lovely people. Thank you for hanging out with us while we discuss Beyonce's placements. Mm -hmm. If you love this video, please give us a like. We would love that. Mm -hmm. And if you agreed with any of the things we had to say, comment down below. Which part of, you know what I mean, her chart do you enjoy the most? Yes, and that. whose chart do you want us to do next? Comment that below too. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't know your girls over here, we got a podcast. <laughs> and on this podcast, we talk about a lot of fun shit, a lot of real shit too. Real shit. Lot of celeb gossip, uh -huh. toxic Twitter time, uh, you know, anything that really relates to our spirituality, we will be discussing on that podcast as well. Mm -hmm. And of course, astrology. So get into it. The links are down below. Mm -hmm. And obviously at the end of each YouTube video, we have a question that we post here and then we discuss further in the podcast. Are you ready for this week's question? Oh, you know I am. Mm. Mm. The question <laughs> is, which one of Beyonce's placements do you see in her the most? Ah! So if you want to hear yes. us discuss her placements a little bit more and which one of hers we love the most. You have to listen to the podcast. It's going to go live on Wednesday and then every Monday and Thursday we have our YouTube videos. We're going to link our socials somewhere over here. We love you guys and we'll see you later. Bye! Bye.